Hello, Carrots here. Welcome to part 7 of the 30 Grandchildren Badge Attempt. In this episode, we're going to be concentrating on completing lifetime wishes, or at least working towards lifetime wishes, and getting all that laundry washed. But there's a few other things happening as well. This is Megan. She was the last one to age up, and she needs to get to level 10 in three different skills. And she's almost at the level 10 of the handiness skill, so I've got her doing different different upgrades to different things. At the moment there's just random sims doing laundry. There's only one of them that has so far completed his lifetime wish and that's Javan. So he's not doing anything at the moment but he is the one who's going to be working on getting the laundry done. That wet pile that she's trying to mop up that's actually waiting to be moved to the dryer. It's clean but waiting to be moved to the dryer. The dryer is in action. The other pile is a dirty pile but we'll sort that out. Alicia, she has got about four small or minor pets to catch to get to her lifetime wish. Javan collected his 20 and now she's doing hers. The three of them have got that same lifetime wish. She's tried to catch quite a few but she's only managed to do a couple of them. By the end of this episode she'll still have two to catch even though she missed about half a dozen I think. But it's autumn in the game or fall, depends where you live. There's plenty of leaves falling. Everybody is a teen at the moment in this household except for Jerry, who is still a young adult and she's the mother. Don't forget, she got these children when I gave her instant babies all at once on the same day. So they're all the same age. Now these three are fishing. Two of them have lifetime wishes that require them to get to level 10 and two or three different skills. And the third wants to have a perfect private aquarium as her lifetime wish and she's a long way from that and they're fishing in the ocean at the moment because all of the ponds in this world are currently frozen over and they can't fish in them so they've either got a fish in the ocean or in the wishing well. I'll probably get her fishing in the wishing well shortly. I might even end up getting more than one wishing well on the lot just so they can all do some fishing. Now several of them are working on the painting skill to get to level 10 in painting for their lifetime wish and also playing the guitar again to complete a lifetime wish. I don't remember the names of everybody but I do know most of their names and particularly since I didn't actually choose any of their names. All of their names were given to them by the game when I used a mod to make instant baby. So a lot of these names that they've got are names I've never heard of before. So I could never have come up with them. I think Megan's probably a bit getting close to about the only name that's familiar to me. They're certainly not Australian names that I've ever heard. That laundry's still going. The clothes dryer's still... Well, it must take an awfully long time to dry clothes. So in the end, I just gave up on waiting for it. And I, I thought about putting in a whole lot of different washing machines and dryers, but they're short on simoleons. So what I did was I added a couple of clotheslines outdoors. And I've got Javan on the job. Here's Javan now. He has completed his lifetime wish, so he can work on the laundry from here on in. So it'll be him in charge. Well, I'll get the others all working on their lifetime wish. Once that dryer finishes, we can move those clothes that's this pile on the floor there into the dryer. Dryer. Looks like the dryer has finished now. It stopped wobbling up and down. I oh, know he's got he's got clotheslines at last. I've given them two clotheslines. And he's hanging them on the line. All he needs to do now is laundry and work on his schoolwork so that he gets to be an A grade student and possibly even on the honor roll. But that isn't really necessary. Any of them that get the wish to stay on the honor roll for three days, I'll try to get them to stay on the honor roll for three days so they get that because I think it's worth about a thousand lifetime happiness points and although they're all identical ages at this point I don't really have to age them all up at the same time and there's a few of them who can't even start their lifetime wishes until they age up because they need to start work at the science facility before they can start to work on their lifetime wish of becoming a creature robot crossbreeder so that's not something a teen can do at least not in my game. I've got mods, but I don't have a mod to send a teen to work at the science facility. And I'm not looking for one either. I'll just work around that little restraint. The Sims with that particular...
particular lifetime wish will age up as soon as they have got A grade at school or on the honour roll, depending on what I'm doing at the time. Nobody meets that criteria just yet. There are some on A grade, but I don't think they're the ones that have got a lifetime wish that requires them to be aged up to work on it. That's Japan playing in the sand pit waiting for the next load of laundry to be ready. So there's lots of leaf raking going on. There's seems to be not very many of those small animals running around. When Javan was looking for them, he seemed to get lots of them. Although, she is getting a few, but she's not catching them. They're getting away from her. There he is. Moving the clothes out of the machine and putting them in the dryer. You'll have to go and find some more, because there's plenty in that bedroom. It's got eight bunk beds. The 16 Sims sleeping in that room. We've got all of their dirty laundry in it. That's Kobe. He's one of the Sims that doesn't have a lifetime wish yet. And he's one of the few that I can actually recognise and remember the name of. I can remember his name because it's, it's spelt like Toby with a C. Needless to say, it's a name I'd never heard of before. Never heard of Javan either. See, there's a few of the laundry piles still there, but a lot of them have gone. They are all very smelly. So the laundry is looking better already. Here's Javan. He's made his way up from the basement because their bedrooms are all downstairs. I didn't want to mess up the look of the lot from above ground. I like the way this lot is. It's in Riflong 7's Cake Island and it's white. It, that's not snow, that's just the colour of the world. Now it always surprises me in The Sims when the zombies turn up. I never noticed that it's almost the night of the full moon. So when I saw this zombie I had to check and yes, it is the full moon. In a previous game, some time ago, one of my sims got attacked by a zombie and it was just so funny to have one of the household members turned into a zombie. And I thought, I'll just see if I can get one of the children or teens turned into a zombie by this zombie. But he threatened everybody, but he didn't actually carry through with any of his threats, which was a bit of a shame. Meanwhile, they mostly just keep on raking leaves. It's about time they were asleep in bed talking about being asleep in bed it's become increasingly obvious to me that they're going to need to have new bedrooms at the moment all of them the 16 of them all living in one bedroom with eight bunk beds the bunk beds are all together in a large room in the top basement now you'd think the fact that they all sleep in that one room all of them including jerry you'd think that there was nowhere else in the whole house for them to sleep this is a two-storey house and upstairs has four bedrooms and three bathrooms and there are bunk beds upstairs but nobody uses them. Even Jerry doesn't use the main bedroom that's upstairs. Here's Alicia turning up. Maybe Alicia will be able to catch a couple of those squirrels. She's got that one. See, she missed that one. That's what she does most of the time. They bite her. That little gnome hasn't moved. He's been there all the time, the whole video. I'm thinking maybe he's stuck on the boundary of the lot. Not a very scary zombie. I think he keeps forgetting he's a zombie and he reverts to what he as if he was a real sim that hasn't been zombified. But then he goes back to being a zombie for a while. He's sort of a mixed up zombie. About those beds. I'm wondering if the bunker beds I've got downstairs are more comfortable than the beds that are in the bedrooms upstairs. In any case, I have decided to use their money to add some new bedrooms down in a lower basement. I've only had enough simoleons to add six new bedrooms and they are only partially furnished. And there's, a th there's three bathrooms. Each bathroom opens off onto two bedrooms and I will gradually remove the bunk beds from the top basement and might even convert that big bedroom into a couple of smaller bedrooms. So the zombie is so bored with being a zombie that he's decided to play with his phone. I wonder if he's texting someone or just playing. It's very funny anyway. See, he drops out of the zombie mode every so often. That's why I think he's a messed up zombie. Maybe he's in the process of returning to being a normal sim. He might have been a zombie for long enough. And he is another zombie just emerging from under the ground. He's tired as well. Everybody's tired. Maybe they should all just go to sleep. It's a shame that their bedroom downstairs is still so full of smelly piles of laundry. Hopefully by the time we finish the next episode that will all be gone. 
I do have the modded versions of the laundry basket that automatically fills up endlessly, but for some reason I just don't like having that in my game. So I don't have it, we just have piles of dirty laundry. They're not very impressive zombies, are they? She's trying hard to look like she's frightened. I think she's mostly just tired. You're close to the door, it's time to go through it. Yeah, there she goes. Zombies are left all alone outside. They never seem to actually go inside, although I have had them go inside once when I had a garden on an upper level and the zombies went upstairs to the garden. Not in this game, another game. So maybe when I get the garden growing in their basement, although I've never had a zombie down in the downstairs basement, but I usually keep the doors locked. We're going to have a big garden down in the basement in this house. As I said, I don't want to mess up the look of the landscaping above ground. We'll keep the house looking just like this above ground. We'll do all our building and decorating down below. So there they all are in their bunk beds, eight bunk beds, and Jerry has decided to sleep in the bunk bed as well, even though she does have her own bedroom on the upstairs level. There's two levels above ground and the bedroom that allocated to Jerry is upstairs. Now look, I was going through the inventories. This is a new bedroom I've built and I found that this bloke had a genie lamp in his inventory. I don't know much about genie lamps, having only had one once before in any game ever since the game was released. And Robbie, who's the sim with the genie lamp, I'm assuming he must have picked it up as a child when they all visited the mausoleum on a school trip. So I got him to rub the lamp just to see what would happen. We have a genie. I usually get my genies from Creator Sim, so this is an unusual occurrence for me. He's very blue. While Robbie is standing there, stunned, wondering what to do, Genie spins into another outfit and takes off. You're getting a bit of a look at the bed at what I've done with the bedroom so far. Unfortunately, we've run out of simoleons. We're going to have to do a lot about getting lots of new simoleons before the next episode. I'm not sure where this Genie's heading off to. I don't have any control over him, other than what Robbie can do with him. And I don't want to do any wishes in this episode. Here comes Javan down the steps. Put the walls back up. That railing is looking over into the garden downstairs. There's nothing much in the garden yet. I got them to plant any seeds that I found in their inventories, because I was trying to empty their inventories. Sold their fish, other than a few of the perfect fish. He might as well start making friends with his genie. There's the school bus. Now, I don't want to leave this genie running around the house unattended all day. He'll probably wander off and we'll never see him again. Teens are scrambling from all over the house to go and catch the bus to go to school. Robbie has to stay and deal with his genie until we've got this genie back into his lamp. Oh, he's going to try to steal a coin. Oh, he didn't get wet. He just got wet but he didn't. Another go. He sounds like an evil genie doesn't he? He's got an evil cackle and I don't want Robbie to miss school. Gone back into the lamp. That's because Robbie told him to go back into the lamp. So now Robbie can go to school and we'll worry about that genie in the next episode. Fortunately the bus is still waiting. There's the mailman just arrived. Yeah the bus is not happy. Been waiting too long. Robbie's the last one and he's on the bus and he's off to school. So here we are now outside the school and the bus is still just arriving. I suppose it'll do its turn around in the middle of the street and everybody pops off at once. Why are they going to change their clothes now for? You would have thought they would have changed. Oh, don't squash the kids. You'd have thought they would have gone into their school clothes before they got on the bus. So that's the school they all go to. Luckily this town's practically empty. 
I think all of the students live in the one household. There could be a few others, but not that I'm aware of. I have noticed that some of the extra young adults that I added to this world as potential spouses for this lot when they grew up have started marrying each other and having children. So I'm going to have to make them a whole set of new spouses <laughs> so they can have their 30 grandchildren for their mother, Jerry. We'll just wait and watch them all go into school. And then we'll say goodbye. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Bye-bye for now and happy simming. I'll see you in the next episode.